process and we keep getting hoops put in front of us. But uh, I've been working on the political end. Uh, I probably, a lot of you don't know, but I'm a liberal, so I, <laughs> I shouldn't say that too loud. But I still have a few pulls there. So I, I've gotten a sitting with Dwight Duncan, Sandra Pupatello, got meetings set up with them. And, and the next election may not look very good for them, but they're still in power now, and that's who we have to deal with. Um, got us meetings with uh, the transition board. Uh, we went down and met with the transition board twice. We've talked uh, uh, on the phone with them. Uh, teleconference, three or four teleconferences, the transition board's been with us. We've had a lot of difficulty with ORC, even returning calls, but uh, we put the pressure on them through the Liberals, and uh, now they've finally been getting back to Paul, and, and that ball's starting to roll. Locally, uh, we've got a lot of support there. Uh, I've got county council behind us. I've brought it up at county council. County council is behind us. They will help us what they can. I've had a number of discussions with Mayor Eddie Francis. Uh, Windsor City Council is behind us. They, they want to see something here. They're looking at the jobs end. This is jobs. They don't want to lose that 2,000 jobs that we have now. They want to see it sustainable, keep those jobs in this area. So uh, we, we've worked on all this. We've got the political support there. And uh, as we move along, hopefully we're going to be able to accomplish it. Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot of hoops they want. Number one, they want us to remain sustainable. And we have to do that without the slots. Number two, we've got to stay away from Caesars Windsor. Whatever we do, operations we set up, we've got to stay so far away from them. That seems to be one of their big concerns is the gambler's not going to go to Caesars, they're going to come to our place, and they're really concerned about that. So that's two of the things that we've got to keep in mind when whatever we're doing. But in our discussions with Dwight Duncan, he seemed to favor, we told him our plan to, to go out to Limington to get started. He seemed to favor that, thought that was good, and, and there'll be support for us there. So really what we have to do is, we gotta show we're gonna be self-sustaining out in Limington, and we've had great support from the mayor out there, John Patterson, uh, from Reg and the fair board out there, they're behind us. We have to run an operation out there for two to three years, looking at 10, uh, race programs next year. Of course, Windsor Raceway has the hold on, on uh, Limington until the end of March, so we can't do anything out there as far as racing goes until April, but we'd like to be able to start right away after that and get going, working in with the fair board and their fair, knowing that we can allow them to keep their fair date. Once we can prove that we can do it, and our main, one of our main reasons for moving out there right away is we need that teletheater. We need the teletheater to get purse monies. We can go after this money, as, as uh, Paul said, and Marcus said, we need that to build a new track. But we need also to be able to continue to have purse money to run for. We don't want to have to go for $3,000 purses. We'd like to go for a lot more than that. The teletheater is one of those things. The historical betting that's coming out new is another avenue that, that we're approaching. We're even looking at Casino somehow that looks like pretty far fetched, but right now uh, the Indian group out there has purchased Peely Island uh, Hotel out there, the Peely Island Hotel I think it is. They're looking at putting up an Indian casino out there. We're looking at can we somehow latching to that even? So we're looking at a number of different avenues where we can get money to sustain our purses and keep our purses up there. So. We got a lot going on right now, uh, and our next big step is that uh, put on a racing car out in Lamington at the fairgrounds there, show what we can do, show that we can be sustainable, and then keep moving on this. Now, one of the avenues that we have to do is to form a uh, fair board probably of our own. We've met with all the local fair boards in southwestern Ontario at their general meeting. Uh, they've made a motion to support us. Uh, I've had uh, about an hour long conversation with Mark Bevan and uh, he's lent his support to us. So these are things that we're looking into right now and that we have to make sure that we stay non-profit. Everything we get goes back into our racetrack. 
But uh, that's the approach that we're looking for to uh, show we can do it and then begin looking at a track somewhere along the 401 corridor. We actually have three or four sites that we're looking for. And uh, I've, looked, I've met certainly with my own municipality of Lakeshore. We're going to be in there helping whatever's got to be done and, and what we can do because uh, that's a whole new ball game when you get into rezoning and whatever. But if we get that far, Lakeshore will be there to help us. So, Paul, I'll turn it back to you or to Mark, I guess. Mark, back.